Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to her and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Poncho back at it again with another banger of a video. As you guys can see in the title and the thumbnail, I'm here with Eileen. Hello. If you want to introduce yourself to my channel, um, what you do or who you are. I am Eileen. I do YouTube as well. And I was formerly known as a uh, youtube channel called the Kano family um but <laughs> now i'm by myself <laughs> really what happened to that channel did you just take over that channel yeah i did well well like when we started it it was like my channel yeah but um I so just, you started youtube before yeah because okay. my brother was actually the one that told us like oh you guys could do youtube yeah, yeah. and like get paid for me and stuff so i was like okay like let's try it and then okay. yeah i have a, i know you can see all these questions right here like so mm -hmm. let's start off really simple here how is it that you and fly met um, we met through a friend, um, she actually used to talk to him, mm -hmm. and I went out with her one day, she was like, oh, we're gonna meet up with, like, these guys, so I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah. So she was texting him, This when you were 16, right? I was actually 15 at the time. Why don't you have a seat there? And Damn. Yeah, so it was, like, two weeks before my birthday, mm -hmm. and I had, went with her, so we met up with them, Yeah. and he was actually, like, flirting with me, and he was like, oh, like, How old, how old was he at this time? Um, he's... 18? Uh, 19? No, no, no. He was in his... Tw I don't know if he was 20 or 21. I oh, forgot. Dang. I forgot how old he was, <laughs> yeah. but he was like 20 or 21. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's how we met through a friend and that's how it all started. Yeah. So how is it that you like fell for Fly? Like, what is it What is it that like caught okay. your attention for Fly? I'm going to be super honest and he mm -hmm. knows this because I've always told him this. It w I never was like physically attracted to him. Okay. It was just more like he was like sweet, like mm -hmm. the way he would like treat me, like talk to me, just yeah. like those things. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I was 15 years old. So yeah. you're like a little girl. So you're stupid as hell. Um, and then I, he grew on me. Okay. Like his looks and just stuff like that. But so after a while, like his words were kind of like, if it was it, more his words though. Like okay. the way he would treat me, the way he would talk to me, mm -hmm. like the way he would give me like attention. It was just more of that type of thing. Okay. So that's how I started talking to him. But okay. So my question is this, because I, I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, I know he had kids beforehand, right? He has mm -hmm. a, another baby girl as well. As I'm he told two. Mm -hmm. two. So you didn't see like any like did you see any red flags from this like okay, from so that listen, relationship so um being 100 percent honest with you mm -hmm. i didn't know i knew he had two other kids but yeah. i never knew that his second baby mama mm -hmm. was my age at the time too until so she was you guys were both like the same age so we were both dang. 15 but she had already had her daughter and i didn't know until i was already pregnant of my son jordan mm -hmm. my first son yeah and then i don't know how it came up but i asked him i was like how old is she because there was like drama that was going on between all of us and then i was like how old is she and he told me and i was just like what the heck and then like his family had told me that she had her baby like really young like uh -huh. i think like at 13 or something wow yeah and um so did you ever did you ever get along with that girl did you ever did you have any contact with that that girl i never had contact with any of his baby mamas mm. um me and her really didn't like each other like we did beef just because in the beginning she did still want to be with him and like uh -huh. she just brought a lot of drama but his first baby mama a lot of people think that she was a minor too but she wasn't they're the same age oh him and, so him and okay. his first baby mama are the same age okay so yeah what was his excuses to not see his first kid um his what did you say it was kid? like you you did something to get in the way for that or it was like why, why was i the... didn't his first um daughter did come around like uh -huh. when i was there living because i did go live with him and his family yeah when i ended up getting pregnant my mom was like Te vas de aquí. so i left and uh -huh. i went to go move in with him and his daughters both of them would go over and then we ended up moving over here to arizona because mm -hmm. my family had came over here because yeah. i don't know if you know but i'm from california yeah and um what part of california i'm from san bernardino okay that's like 20 minutes where i'm from oh where are you from i'm from riverside oh okay, 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 okay. About there. so yeah so when we moved over here um you know stuff happened with his daughter that i'm not gonna get into detail about yeah. because you know it's none of my business but um 
that where he couldn't see her and stuff anymore. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yeah, cause I saw she made like a, I don't know if you saw she made like a little TikTok. Yeah. The, one of the, one of the daughters. I don't know if it was. I think it's the oldest the one. The oldest one. Yeah. yeah she made it like a TikTok where she was basically mm -hmm. missing flight. What was your reaction towards that when she, when she came out and said like I kind of miss my dad like he's not there for me blah 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 and this and that. I mean it is sad because you know as a kid like you you shouldn't go through that like yeah. you feel like your parent is your parent. Um, but I think his mindset was a little bit different. And I thought he changed, but mm -hmm. you know, look at the way he is with my kids now, too. And yeah. I'm not trying to throw shade at him or, like, bash him or anything, but, yeah. I mean, it's all on the internet. I don't know. I just wish he would grow up and mature. So, my next question is, does Flyboy's family um, see or ask for the kids? Like, what is their involvement with the kids, the family? They don't have any involvement with my kids. They no. don't call for my kids. They don't ask for them. The only one that I could say that she did for a minute, and mm -hmm. she's, like, the only one that was really involved with my kids is his sister his yeah. oldest sister and that was it the other one like his other family didn't care they were just like whatever oh really yeah and why is it that you stay with flyboy so long um, like why like is i'm sure you saw a lot of red flags right so what mm -hmm. what made you like you know as an audience i've been covering you for a while what is it that, yeah. that kept making you go back honestly i feel like it was more like of a comfort like mm. you know like when you're comfortable i mean i've been with this person since i was 15 yeah. so he was all i knew and i was just like damn like i already have four kids with him mm -hmm. like how am i gonna do it alone just i think i was more scared to leave and be alone mm -hmm. and get out of my comfort zone mm -hmm. i think that's what it was and that's why i stayed for so many years because our relationship was broken for years already yeah. before i eventually left and i mean something happened where see that's my next question what was the reason what's like the main reason why you guys like what was what was your breaking point there has to be like one thing that like okay that, that finally i'm gonna just spill like, the tea on your channel yeah, yeah, so ahead, feel special because i haven't even done a video on my channel really? about why okay. i really left okay but we're gonna do it because i'm being super honest yeah. and the reason why we left was because why i broke up with him mm -hmm. was because he was still talking to like his second baby mama okay. like behind my back so and from what i found out was like there was flirting going on between them two and stuff like that i'm not trying to get anybody in trouble because yeah. i know she has her life she's a married woman and stuff yeah. like that but it's the truth and you know she also knew that he was a married man and it ruined our relationship i couldn't so how is it that you found out the how is i couldn't be with the cheater how is it you found out about the double dipper mm, through his phone so you just started looking to his phone? Yeah, like, I knew when a guy is doing something, they start acting different. A little like, sus? Like, just like, yeah, like, hmm, like, what are you doing? Or, like, yeah. what are you hiding? And that's kind of, like, how I found out. And then more, like, tea ended up spilling after, like, when we had already, like, been separated for a while. Like, yeah. one of his sister had told me, like, everything and was, like, yeah. So it was just, Why like, is that the sister mm -hmm. came clean? Is it, like, you always had a good bond with her? Or what was, what was the reasoning as to why I the sister... Just, like a cheese mosa, so okay. she just yeah. she was just kind of she's always it. been like that okay. in the relationship too. <laughs> okay, what's your thoughts on the whole you know Flyboy and Maria? I think they recently broke up, is what I'm understanding. I saw some videos that they, I have they... no idea what's going on with them. But um, what's your whole what's your whole like uh, relationship or like beef with Maria? Because I know you guys have like some sort of beef going on. But hey, as soon as it pops, let me know because I'm pulling the I'm beat the bricks out this. Now, for real, no cap. What was yeah. like the the main spark for for so, you guys to start beefing? Something was going on like with my kids, and I had called him, and I was like, "Hey, like I need you here." Something's going on with the kids, blah blah blah. I guess she was drunk, and he had told me we're in Flagstaff, I can't go right now, this and that, blah yeah. blah. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, this is super important. You need to get down here. Flagstaff is like two and a half hours away. Like, get your ass down here. Yeah. And then she just got on the phone, like in the background, and started like talking shit. And he was like, don't listen to her. She's drunk. And I was just like, it doesn't matter if she's drunk. Like, this is a situation with your kids. Yeah. And I'm not going to take disrespect from anybody. And then, like, she just kept like throwing like little like jabs out there, little comments. And mm -hmm. I was just like, okay. And then her last comment where I was just like, okay, like, I really want this girl. The breaking point? Was when I was pregnant and she uh -huh. had made, like, a live or a video at a gas station. And she was like, oh, like, when she drops her baby, I want to pull up on her. I was and just what, like, and what, happened, what happened with that? Because did she end up pulling up? or She never pulled up. Okay. I dropped my baby three months ago and I'm still, I'm still waiting. Okay. <laughs> So now, uh, well, before we move on to Alex, because we have over here a whole paragraph of Alex, you were, you were a nurse at one point? Is that what I'm understanding? I was a medical assistant. 
Really? Yeah. So, so is it that you left that job because you saw like YouTube was doing a little bit better, so you wanted to pursue YouTube? So I used to work um, at the hospital, so I would mm -hmm. work twelve-hour shifts. And then when I found out I was pregnant, my daughter, our gender reveal had went viral, oh, okay. and that's like how we blew up on YouTube. I think so, I saw. It. I think I saw. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we started making like money on YouTube, I was like, oh shit, like this is you know way more than what i make uh -huh. so i was like why don't i stay home yeah. and you know when my daughter i was pregnant oh uh, so that's what happened okay now moving on to alex now let's switch it up a little bit um so do you see yourself I'm like <laughs> do you do you see yourself uh like marrying alex potentially like what's the, first of all actually how did you even meet alex to begin with so I met Alex through Instagram. Um, he DM'd you. You DM'd him. No, no, no. I didn't DM him. He like was reacting to your story, like, like my heart story. eye emojis. Yeah, and I remember like I kept seeing him, and then like I opened like his message, and I would just like see, and I wouldn't respond. Uh -huh. I would leave him like on red, and then he kept doing it. And I was like, let me see who this guy is. Yeah. So I finally like went to his Instagram mm -hmm. and I was like looking through his pictures and I saw a video of him and like I heard him talking and you know, just that Puerto Rican accent. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh damn. So after that, like I had messaged him yeah. and then that's how that happened. Okay. So do you see yourself with more kids is the question. No. So, no. so with Alex is like a, I have one with him. Okay, you have one and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, no, yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Why is it that you, you went you went to jail, no? Yes, I did. So, <laughs> why is it that you went to juvie or jail or whatever the case is? Juvie, be? oh my god. Why is that you went to jail, if you um, can explain? I don't know if it's like still an ongoing case or it, it is an ongoing case, so okay. I can't really talk much about that. Um but I went to I got arrested, so it's crazy how it happened because they said I had had a warrant uh -huh. since 2019. Oh, dang. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was pregnant of my daughter. Yeah. Then. I was like, so how the hell did that happen? And I had been to the courts mm -hmm. because I've had like all the custody stuff going on with my baby dad. Yeah. And then I've been in and out of going from here to Puerto Rico. So I was like, how have they scanned my ID? Like, how yeah. have they not told me that I had a warrant? and so i still am trying to figure out like the charges and like mm -hmm. all that stuff it's still an ongoing case so a lot of people are asking is would you say that alex is an upgrade from flyboy like would you say he's he's, he's much better like um, what does he do different? Wait, what do you mean like, like what, what does like, he what do, do you different or what does he add more than 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 what flyboy does like what does he do that that flyboy doesn't so one thing that i really liked about alex uh -huh. was that he is a dad first okay. like he makes sure like he told me like straight up like my kids i have my kids they yeah. come first like whatever it is the way that he is with my kids mm -hmm. like the way he treats them like plays with them outside does things that their dad never did with yeah them. and he i mean we have a really toxic relationship with yeah. i mean it's all over social media i'm gonna be honest yeah but i mean how'd you feel um, let me ask you because i saw a video once and i thought it was i mean it was hilarious at the time but it was offensive towards you but when he okay. was like i remember the words he was like he was like eileen is una huelca he said, i don't know if you remember that saw that video he's like una huelca, una huelca, or, or puerca, but obviously puerca. obviously he was saying it in the way he speaks but yeah, 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 yeah. what was your reaction towards that because i think mean, he was saying that you didn't clean and, and, cause no he, he was saying that like he was saying that i don't cook he so that's why he called you a pig he was like she don't cook yeah he said i don't clean but i've always like i grew up mexican and yeah, you yeah, know yeah, yeah. we're clean as hell yeah and um so i don't know where the hell he got that from but he told me he's like i was just talking shit like because all that was so new to him mm -hmm. that he didn't know how to react to like all the okay. attention that he was getting he was okay. a normal like person working his regular job yeah and when i posted him he became like everybody was like oh my god like you're eileen's new boyfriend like it was crazy the attention he was getting and he didn't know how to act to it oh okay. so he was just like trying to like throw me under the bus like uh -huh. okay like i'm gonna say all this shit about her yeah and but i had made another life with him like oh like why were you saying all of that he was like i was just saying it to like get you mad and like talk shit but he was saying like i don't cook and stuff i know how to cook yeah but the so you do the cooking that, you do the cooking i do cook okay. But the thing is, like, damn, I got tired of cooking after cooking for fucking 10 years for somebody. I'm yeah. just like, dang. But I'm not going to lie. I don't like to cook anymore, but I know how. How do you feel about the, because I'm sure you saw all those hate pages. How do you feel mm -hmm. towards all those those hate pages that are, you know, targeting you? Honestly, I feel like in the beginning, it's a lot. It is a lot. Like, it's a lot, and it's just like, damn. But 
especially like as bad as i have it like people know everything i'm yeah. like I'm like they find your address they find that they work for the fbi i'm like i'm super convinced like, uh -huh. it has to be somebody or somebody that's super close yeah. to me and i just haven't found out and when all that started happening we cut ourselves like away from like family everything because we were like how the hell they were finding out things that only family knew okay. and i was just like whoa that's weird like we've had we went as far as like taking people to mm -hmm. go take a lie detector test really yes like family Dang. to go do that and there was some that failed and we knew who it was uh -huh. But we were just, it was so fresh. So, would you say it was your family that were making those pages? It wasn't my family. Or, but or Fly's family. Or it, it, had to, it was family. Someone's, okay. Yeah. And um, so it was frustrating. Like, imagine you like telling them and trusting your own family, and then they go and like tell T pages like your stuff. Yeah. And honestly, it gets frustrating. It really does. But there's nothing we could do. We I have mean, our life you public. Got, you got to keep moving on. Exactly. This one's going to be a little bit controversial here. Um, what was it with the Nerf gun that popped out with, with your daughter? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't. I want to use it. Guys, that's all she grabbed. Okay, so. And, and be honest because obviously people who know what Nerf or what guns are or whatever yeah, the case yeah, is. Yeah, so, yeah. so what was that whole situation? So that was not a real gun and I had said it. Okay. Um, and that was crazy because i she it was literally in the glove compartment she was just like being a freaking she's most digging through stuff mm -hmm. and she like opened my glove compartment and grabbed it and but do you my, see how did you see how it looks though when like no, she's holding the gun and, and she's like really, i want to play i want to play it so, looks really bad of course yeah. it does and i'm not gonna lie after that there was like a problem that where they came to my house oh like, really to check. yeah there was and people don't know that and I had already knew that was going to happen because yeah. I was like, I'm on live in front of, you know, a lot of people. I have a lot of hate. Yeah. I was like, people are not going to know it's a real gun or a fake gun, you know? So mm -hmm. I did have a problem after that. And they like had to check everything and make sure. And I was like, you know, but it was not a real gun. But why is it? Okay. If, was, if it was a real gun, I'm going to be honest here. Okay, if it was ahead. a real gun, why is it that you had a fake gun? Were your kids playing with the gun? Or, or why is it that you that, that she was showing off a, a fake gun in a sense? No, that was actually in my glove compartment. That was actually my, my little brother's. Was it like a protection gun? Or, or? No, 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 no. no. Oh, just that your... was my little brother's like okay. gun. Like his little BB gun. It was okay. a BB gun. And um, it was in there. And it was actually broken. It was just in my glove compartment. Okay. But I have so she no. Just picked it up and... Yeah, it's so weird because in my life, like I didn't even realize that she was like reaching and grabbing like it through the glove compartment. Uh -huh. I had like a little button where you push and it okay. opens. So you and just saw just after like, oh, she was shoot. just waving, waving yes, around again. Yes, like when okay. she grabbed it, I was like, oh shoot! And I was like, oh my god, they're gonna eat me alive right now. Dang. And so I you got... had people like actually like I'm, I'm I sure got like in alive Dang. after that. A hundred percent, I did. Okay, so then here's my next question because these are more the controversial ones. So what about the next one about you allegedly scamming for purses? Or okay, you're scamming so, or some sort of you're scamming your supporters. Yeah, so understand. that was like a big old thing that was going on. And I actually have um, my Shopify, which I have mm -hmm. to open it again. And I haven't opened it because I was just like, I really don't care. People could think what they want. Yeah. But I had my Shopify where I had, you know how you could like refund and know like, I don't yeah. know if you've ever had Shopify, but you could refund and know like refund them. Okay. And whatever. So that's how I left it. But people were like, oh, like I never received it. It's like, yeah, but I did refund you because I had, once I went through my divorce, like mm -hmm. there was just so much going on that I was just like, fuck everything at this point. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie. That's where I went through like a depression and like I everybody's seen it i lost everything after that like my house i was just like fuck it like mm -hmm. i don't want to live here i left all that i stopped with like my boutique i was just like oh well yeah and i went not gonna lie i went downhill from there yeah. and it's a lot like going through a divorce going through you know being a single mom with four kids mm -hmm. all that stuff it was just a lot going on okay but yeah so you didn't scam them you just returned everybody i allegedly. never sent them the bags but i did refund. You refund their money yes okay and i just never opened up my shopify again because it was like the bill was like overdue like money and i just never paid it i was just like i don't care like let them think what they want okay what was your thoughts uh, on my achievement page when, when i first started because i remember you and fly <laughs> back then i think you guys said i used to cook in my hood or something like that i don't know if that was fly or if that was you but no, what, what, do you, him. what do you guys but... said i was cooking on my, my my hood that i make my food in my car or i open up the hood to make my food in my car you know how dumb you sound this guy said he cooks food but i don't know where he cooks his food at does he pop his hood open in his car and cook on his hot engine when it's running 
we gotta figure listen, out who, who said it. We, we gotta go back fig- to the video. Yeah, we need to figure out who was saying that. Listen, oh my god. So not gonna lie, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, cause that but was because it was like you guys never dealt with someone like no, that. No, but there was never. I don't know if there was, but I never had seen like T pages. Mm-hmm. I think you were like one of like the first, the one? first ones that yeah. like started like really covering YouTubers and the cheese mess stuff. So mm-hmm. I was just like, who is this person talking about us? And then obviously I was just I did not like you. I was yeah. like, uh, what is his problem? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was just that's crazy. That goes back like <laughs> that goes way back. That's five years. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's what was crazy. what I mean when you knew Fly at the time? Mm-hmm. What was Fly's? Um... Oh, he hated you. Really? He fucking hated you. Not gonna lie, I've I've hung out with other influencers, mm-hmm. and you're known. Really? You're known. You're. But I feel like they, they, I'm known because they hate me. Because they hate you. Exactly. Yeah, they're just like, what the fuck is wrong with him? But. I mean, if you really think about it, the way I see it now mm-hmm. is you're doing your job. You're yeah. doing, you're making money just like I am, just like the next person is, just like the next YouTuber is, you know? Mm-hmm. You're doing your job, you're making money, and if that's the way you make your money, oh, well, it is what it is. So, I have another question. Would you say that your relationships, like, jeopardize collaborations? Because I feel like back then you were really more involved in the scene where you were kind of collabing with Candy, you were, you were doing this and that, and then I what feel do you mean like... Relationship? With just everything that's going on with like like for example when you were dating Flyboy and all the controversy was going on he's calling you out you're calling him out and then okay, okay. I feel like you kind of lost not lost but you just weren't into that like you were like doing a lot anymore. yeah you were doing more collabs back then and then I feel like now because you kind of you know you have problems every not not every other week but yeah, you know yeah. something pops um, out um I'm not sure but I know that even like after me and him separated mm-hmm. like um a few influencers did reach out to me like to go to like to their events and stuff mm-hmm. but I feel like I was just so not me and like not like I don't know like I just didn't want to be in that scene I feel okay. like I was just going through so much and going through you know personal things yeah. that i just wasn't really in that scene because i did like get invited to like a couple events from influencers okay and it's weird because i actually started getting talked to more after oh, after the whole my relationship ended oh wow it's okay. crazy really yeah i was just like oh that's okay. weird okay let me see i think i think i basically covered everything here let me see any final message or any final thoughts for for my subscribers or just in general not for my subscribers but just in general speaking you know any final thoughts or or message that you want to say no i don't but honestly just keep doing you okay. and don't worry about what anybody else has to say because at okay. the end of the day you're making your money just like everybody else mm-hmm. and yeah people are gonna like you people are not gonna like you yeah it shouldn't matter you know okay so look yeah. now that we came to this part of the video if you can close your eyes for like a quick second i got a gift some some sort of gift i'm gonna get in the, i'm gonna get in the trunk is that fine yeah okay just give me a second hopefully alex doesn't doesn't, your car is not gonna no, drive no. off hopefully alex doesn't come and kill me oh my oh my god and i want you to see but not yet not yet okay, okay 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 so me and my manager close your eyes close your eyes okay my eyes are closed so me and my manager we're doing we saw some videos going on on tiktok do you miss your dad? What do you mean? Do you miss your dad? A little bit. Okay, so what do you want from him? Like, if you could tell your dad anything right now in this second, what would you tell him? Like, what do you want from him? Like, the Xbox that he promised me last year for my birthday. Okay. So I wanted to surprise you uh, with some gifts for your kids, actually. Aww. And this is the first one if you want to see, if you want to open it. Oh, my lashes. That's Aww, the first that's one. So sweet. That's That's for your boys. And you can show the camera afterwards too because I, I saw this video and it kind of touched me oh. over on TikTok. I'm serious. You it, did it, not do that. I did. I saw the video and I felt and it, I felt like some sort of like uh, because I've been covering you for so long. I felt oh like my God, like a little you're bit. A real one, honestly, to be honest. Show the camera. Show the camera. A little Xbox because I saw. I know. I'm sure you guys saw the video on TikTok wow. that was circulating. And then I felt like I couldn't forget about your daughter, so I got a little something. Thank you so much. I honestly appreciate it. No, I'm serious. Me and my my manager. Shout out to my manager because she saw it too. Shout out to your your manager. That's my sister. That's my sister. Oh, shout out to your sister. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. And then I felt like I couldn't, you know, it's something something small for your daughter, but, you know, that way she can, you know, play with. She'll like this. Yeah. She likes the color with markers, and she drives me insane because she'll color on everything. We're going to get a color book, but I was like, no, I think it's it's better that she can, you know, if you want to show it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it, to be honest. So hopefully, you know, I know Fly, I know Fly, you know, he said he, he got, you know, the next box or whatever the case was, but I feel like, I feel like he was capping. If he did get it, he would have delivered it. I 
mean, how, who would hold it for over a year? Exactly. Almost. So I'm going to wrap up the video here for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to smack a like. Make sure to check out Eileen's page. Uh, hopefully, you know, she's changed a little bit. I'm going to ask you some questions. Too. Okay, yeah, we're going to. Okay, so yeah, make sure to check out her channel. We're going to do another video on her channel. So if you guys do want to check that out, make sure to subscribe. And that's it for this video. Okay, bye, you guys. Alrighty. Thank <laughs> you.